afternoon and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews. Gonna do a, a day of beer for this review. I am um, I've got a I've got a delivery I'm um, of six uh, earlier in the week. I am um, and four of them I need to, I, I don't need to review, but four of them I'm going to review. And this is the first one off the uh, off the ranks then and it's the uh, Dea Giant Leap ESB, five point five percent and it says so in small writing around about there. Um, it was, let's see what we've got here, canned on the 20th of July uh, 20, and it's best before the 20th of January 21. There we go, and today's the 8th of August, so it's a couple of weeks old. This is the second of their, of their English series. Um, they did, I think they did a, a best bitter, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, and this is the second one, the ESP. Anyway, let's pop a top. Let's see what we've got going on with this. Again, filled right to the brim. Very generous. Um, filled right to the brim of beer, which is what we like. Right, I shall pour the rest in in a moment. Um, so, beer and glass, what have we got? Hazy, copper coloured, dark orange coloured, almost like a got a marmalade colour to it. We've got a finger and a half of bright white, sponge like head. It looks lovely, looks lovely. There's no floaters in it. There's a little bit of carbonation streaming from the inside, but the camera's not going to be able to pick that up. I am. Um, yeah, it looks really nice. Let's go nose what we can smell. Let's go for it. Ooh. That smells quite nice. I hear malty, caramel, toffee, a little bit of a of an orange hint to it. it smells good. It smells like a like a fairly decent <laughs> bitter. If I'm being fair, let's go for body and car. Cheers. Light, velvety. Velvety body, carbonation. It's quite light as well. Let's top some more in and we go for the big taste. Right, cheers. For me, there's a nice, there's a nice roasted, malty backbone to this beer. There's a little bit of a, a light orange, marmalade thing going on. Um, there is a, again a toffee and a caramel <coughs> flavour in there. It's got a bitter. English, a traditional English bitter characteristic. Um, yeah, there's, there's the malt back, but the malt finish is starting to build up as well. Now. It's okay. It's okay. It's unpleasant. Um, it's not fantastic, but it's pleasant. I think it's a sunny day like today. I'm going to try and do a couple of reviews in the garden if I can get around to it. Um, <coughs> this is quite a, quite a it would be quite nice. Just sitting drinking a bitter. It just doesn't for me. It just doesn't pack enough punch. Well, this is my it's just my my thoughts. Um, it is. It's nice. It's nice. It's good. It's not great. It's not excellent. But it's got, it's got a nice little light bitter finish to it um light fruits light caramel light toffee yeah it's good just not not fantastic it's no no award winner for me it's not a uh, it's just it's solid it, you got it's it's there it's a solid beer. 
I think they make better stuff with double IPAs and IPAs. Um, but it has got a, a nice light bit of flavour to it. Anyway, there you go. So, first the day, day is Giant Leap ESB, 5.5%. Do I like it? Yes. Would I buy it again? Excuse me. Probably not, no. Um, would I recommend to friends? Yeah. I've got me to do quite like this type of style. Like ESBs, like straight traditional trad bitters. Um, and this is nearly, nearly, nearly trad, a trad. Um, so if you've had this, let me know what you think. Please put a little comment in the comments box below. Uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you like the video, give me a thumbs down and subscribe down there. The usual caper. Um, this is going to go into the recycle, which is out there. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Enjoy your Saturday. Nice and warm. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next one. Hey, Leo.